parts of a mobile cell phone and their function, big parts. Here are all kinds of parts and electronic components in a mobile cell phone. These parts and components can be divided into big parts and small parts. This article explains all about big parts and components in a. There are all kinds of parts and electronic components in a mobile cell phone. These parts and components can be divided into big parts and small parts. This article explains all about big parts and components in a mobile cell phone and their function. When learning how to repair a mobile cell phone, it is important to identify its parts and understand their function. Here I must also remind you that any PCB of a mobile phone is divided into two sections namely, network section, and power section. Have a look at the image below to understand PCB of a mobile cell phone, big parts of a mobile cell phone and their function, antenna switch. It is found in the network section of a mobile phone and is made up of metal and non-metal. In GSM sets it is found in white color and in CDMA sets it is found in golden metal, work. It searches network and passes forward after tuning. Faults. If the antenna switch is faulty then there will be no network in the mobile phone. PFO. It is found near the antenna switch in the network section of the PCB of mobile phone. It is also called PA, power amplifier, and band pass filter work. It filters and amplifies network frequency and selects the home network. Faults. If the PFO is faulty then there will be no network in the mobile phone. If it gets short then the mobile phone will get dead. RFIC, Hager, Network IC, this electronic component found near the PFO in the network section of a mobile phone. It is also called RF signal processor. Work, it works as transmitter and receiver of audio and radio waves according to the instruction from the CPU. Faults. If the RFIC is faulty then there will be problem with network in the mobile phone. Sometimes the mobile phone can even get dead. 26 MHz crystal oscillator. It is found near the PFO in the network section of a mobile phone. It is also called network crystal. It is made up of metal. Work, it creates frequency during outgoing calls. Faults. If this crystal is faulty then there will be no outgoing call and no network in the mobile phone. VCO, it is found near the network IC in the network section of a mobile phone. Work, it sends time. Date and voltage to the RFIC, hardware and the CPU. It also creates frequency after taking command from the CPU. Faults. If it is faulty then there will be no network in the mobile phone and it will display, call end, or, call failed. RX filter, it is found in the network section of a mobile phone. Work. It filters frequency during incoming calls. Faults. If it is faulty then there will network problem during incoming calls. TX filter, it is found in the network section of a mobile phone. Work. It filters frequency during outgoing calls. Faults. If it is faulty then there will network problem during outgoing calls. ROM. It is found in the power section of a mobile phone. Work. It loads current operating program in a mobile phone. Faults. If ROM is faulty then there will software problem in the mobile phone and the set will get dead. RAM. It is found in the power section of a mobile phone. Work. It sends and receives commands of the operating program in a mobile phone. Faults. If RAM is faulty then there will be software problem in the mobile phone and it will get frequently get hanged and the set can even get dead. Flash IC. It is found in the power section of a mobile phone. It is also called EEPROMIC, Memory IC, RAM IC and ROM IC. Work, software of the mobile phone is installed in the Flash IC. Faults. If Flash IC is faulty then the mobile phone will not work properly and it can even get dead. Power IC, it is found in the power section of a mobile phone. There are many small components mainly capacitor around this IC. RTC is near the power IC. 
work, it takes power from the battery and supplies to all other parts of a mobile phone. Faults. If power IC is faulty then the set will get dead. Charging IC, it is found in the power section near R22. Work, it takes current from the charger and charges the battery. Faults. If charging IC is faulty then the set will not get charged. If the charging IC is short then the set will get dead. RTC, simple silicon crystal. It is real-time clock and is found down the power section near power IC. It is made up of either metal or non-metal. It is of long shape. Work, it helps to run the date and time in a mobile phone. Faults, if RTC is faulty then there will be no data time in the mobile phone and the set can even get dead. CPU, it is found in the power section. It is also called MAD IC, RAP IC and UPP. It is the largest IC on the PCB of a mobile phone and it looks different from all other ICs. Work, it controls all sections of a mobile phone. Faults. If CPU is faulty then the mobile phone will get dead. Logic IC, UI IC, it is found in any section of a mobile phone. It has 20 pins or legs. It is also called UIIC and interface IC. Work. It controls ringer, vibrator and lead of a mobile phone. Faults. If logic IC, UIIC is faulty then ringer, vibrator and lead of mobile phone will nor work properly. Audio IC. It is found in power section of a mobile phone. It is also called Cobra IC and Melody IC. Work, it controls speaker and microphone of a mobile phone. Faults. If audio IC is faulty then speaker and microphone of a mobile phone will not work and the set can even get dead.